Is this really the best Android phone? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Tech Girl Mary, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, yup, tama kayo guys. Ito na, finally, ang full review ng ating Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This video consists of two parts. Unang-una guys, pag-uusapan natin yung overall camera performance niya. Meaning, I did some camera test, vlog, Basically, I used the device for as long as I can, of course, to produce this video. Second part is, of course, the overall capability of the device. Pag-uusapan natin dito yung kanyang display. Gaano ba siya ka-comfortable gamitin despite it being a very boxy device? Pangatlo, syempre yung battery and yung kanyang overall performance. We all know guys that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra offers a handful of updates and a new main camera sensor. No, there are no groundbreaking new features. Dito sa phone na to, hindi po siya na fold in half. Wala rin siyang secondary display sa likod niya. Basically, how the S22 Ultra looks like, Ganito ang ganito din. Speaking of, alam ko naman din that the S22 Ultra is already a really good device. Hindi naman ito mananalo ng Sandamakmak na awards last year if hindi siya maganda. So the question is, ano pa ba ang kayang i-offer ng S23 Ultra kung maganda naman na yung predecessor niya which is still, again, perfect until this year 2023. Actually guys, the S23 Ultra offers one of the most powerful camera system your money can buy. It comes with both a 3x and 10x telephoto lens, an ultra-wide, and of course, the new 200 megapixels main camera. And take note, the 200 megapixels, the 3x and 10x optical lenses has OIS. So yup, focus muna tayo doon sa shiny new thing that we have with this device, which is again, the 200 megapixels. Actually guys, we have the option to shoot photos at 12 50 and 200 megapixels resolution wherein pwede natin tong i-adjust in the settings menu alongside sa kanyang camera viewfinder. Integrated na rin yung Expert Raw application after you download it for the first time. Typically on my everyday, hindi talaga ako nagsushoot ng raw but for the sake of doing this review and of course since may comparison din tayo with the iPhone 14 Pro Max on this video, might as well use it. And since we are also talking about a flagship device, hindi lang naman talaga ito all about the megapixels but as well as the software. Honestly, sobrang helpful ng 200 megapixels main camera niya. You can get some very impressive results lalong lalo na if you want to reframe or crop your shots. If we were to compare it to the latest iPhone 14 Pro Max that also gets a camera boost in form of new 48 megapixels main camera, generally guys, mas realistic yung color and sharpness ng S23 Ultra compared to iPhone. There is really more detail sa mga Samsung photos that we took. Sa totoo lang, there are so many reasons to prefer the output of either phone. Photos taken by the iPhone 14 Pro Max, less saturated talaga sila. Previously talaga guys, iPhones are unbeatable when it comes to portrait mode or should we say yung perfectness ng kanyang subject to background separation. But with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, medyo natatalo na si iPhone. Sa totoo lang, napakalinis ng portrait shots ng S23 Ultra ngayon compared to iPhone. For me, it is one of the best in game. Again, almost perfect when it comes to subject isolation. Even if gagamitin pa natin yung kanyang 3 times zoom portrait, which still looks very fantastic. that some photos taken by the S23 Ultra are a bit over-exaggerated, which may not be everyone's cup of tea. May mga hit or miss din ako with this device that makes me want to return to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Again, most of the time guys, yung results ng S23 Ultra is more flattering for me. Alam nyo, both of these phones naman guys are really one of the best when it comes to 
taking of photos. Image quality, hindi kayo magkakaproblema kahit man ano dito sa dalawa ang bilhin nyo. But since the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a very versatile and incredible zooming capability, I think I'll give it to this phone. Okay, so since medyo tapos na tayo sa comparison ng dalawang phones na to, pag-usapan naman natin yung kanyang low-light photography. Alam mo naman natin lahat kung gano'ng kaganda or king, should we say, ang Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra last year. In my testing, guys, napakaganda ng S23 Ultra in terms of detail and color. Actually, ito rin yung pinagmamalaki ng Samsung doon sa kanilang launch last time and they are calling it nitography. And comparing it to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I think the S23 Ultra was able to focus it more and mas sharp din yung kanyang mga photos. During the Samsung event, guys, he highlight din ng brand yung bagong 12 megapixel selfie camera nitong S23 Ultra. Na kung saan mas maganda yung separation ng subject to background, mas Perfect na siya. And overall, for me, guys, selfies were sharp and colorful. But there are times that I prefer the selfies taken by the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But again, if you're the type of person looking for the combination of detail and color, mas ma-appreciate nyo indeed yung shots ng S23 Ultra. Again, there are times na very helpful kapag exaggerated ang kulay ng isang photo, but there are times na medyo nagiging unrealistic na siya. Okay. Last but not the least, pag-usapan natin yung zooming capability na tong smartphone na to since ito naman din ang kanyang pinagmamalaki bukod sa kanyang 200 megapixels. If you think you're the type of person who needs zoom photos than usual, especially if you are always at concerts or sporting events, then sobrang ma-ROI nyo itong smartphone na to. Itong S23 Ultra, guys, provide a higher optical zoom compared to its competitors. This can zoom optically up to 10 times, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max naman can zoom optically up to 3 times only. Not just that, when zooming in up to 100 times, in fairness naman, they are still very clear. Na notice ko yung improvement when it comes to dynamic range and of course clarity. Okay, so when it comes to video recording for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it is now capable to shoot at 8K 30fps na before ay hanggang 24fps lang. And mas nag-improve na rin ngayon yung field of view while shooting in 8K na dati ay medyo sobrang lapit talaga. Not like it's very noticeable and again, usable kasi nga hindi naman talaga lahat ay nagsashoot in 8K including me. Okay, so we all know how good the video quality is of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Actually, since it came out, medyo wala akong, should we say, mahanap na smartphone na kayang tumalo sa kanya. And during my testing now, guys, actually, it was a very close competition. Honestly, there is more detail sa mga video footages ng S23 Ultra. But stabilization-wise, parehas lang sila halos. Again, a very close call. So, now that you already know that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra won't disappoint you in terms of camera aspect, kamusta naman yung overall performance niya and yung naging experience ko the past few weeks. So, sa totoo lang, wala tayong S22 Ultra right now to compare it side by side. But, you will notice on some reviews na talagang nagbago yung shape niya, especially on the corners. Mas less curved yung edges natin ngayon, and yung side reels niya are flatter. It doesn't sound that much, but again, for everyday scenario, especially yung naging experience ko since may kalakihan talaga yung device, mas less uncomfy siya as compared to last year's model. Again, mas secure siya kapag pinupulot ko or kinukuha ko even without a case. But again, my opinion will remain the same. It still isn't my cup of tea when it comes to my everyday smartphone because of its big size. Aside from this, one thing I really like about the new Samsung S23 Ultra smartphones now is yung choices when it comes to colors. We now have additional brighter colors katulad ng lavender and cream that caters to more female users. We're not stereotyping colors here pero 
I think, ah, first time din kasi na nagkaroon tayo ng ganitong type of colors sa Ultra. Usually kasi it's black or army green or sometimes red. Anyway, just like last year's Galaxy, meron pa rin tayong S Pen Stylus. Expect nyo yung same familiar experience from last year. And as soon as you pop the pen out from the bottom of the phone, makikita nyo yung pop-up menu with compatible applications katulad ng Samsung Notes or Drawing App. Sa totoo lang, hindi ako palagamit ng S Pen. It's probably because I'm not used to it. Most of the time, gumagamit lang ako ng pen kapag tablet ang ginagamit ko. But again, it can be very handy for document purposes. Other than that, sa tingin ko, hindi kayo magkakaproblema sa brightness ng device na to. It's probably one of the brightest display na nakita ko ever in a smartphone reaching 1,750 nits. But still bright enough to fit people's needs. Siguro my only one big complaint about this phone's display is yung fingerprint sensor na medyo inconsistent. Medyo slower lang siya when compared to other flagship Android devices. Now, when it comes to performance, a good news dahil Samsung will no longer produce an Exynos version of their flagship phones. So, sa kahit sa ang bansa kayo bumili ng S23 Ultra, you are still getting the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Wala akong point of comparison as of the moment ng smartphone na merong Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, katulad ng lumabas na OnePlus 11 recently. So yes, I really cannot tell the difference but still guys, napakabilis at capable ng smartphone na to that I don't even need the OnePlus 11 for a point of comparison. Not unless syempre gusto nyo pa rin, pero wala nga tayong unit. And since we're talking about a new chipset now, according to Samsung guys, we are getting an improved battery life on this device Kahit na it's the same 5000 mAh that we last saw sa S22 Ultra. Indeed, it has an all-day battery. Siguro the only thing that I can nitpick is yung charging capability niya na medyo nakulangan ako, syempre, for the price that you're paying. It supports the super fast charging 2.0 at 45 watts maximum. May wireless charging pa rin naman siya guys, hanggang 15 watts. And wireless power share. Again, a strong performer when it comes to day-long battery usage, but medyo bitin when it comes to charging speed. So the question is, should you buy it? Or skip it. Sa totoo lang guys, the name Ultra says it all. Ito yung tipo ng smartphone for those people na gusto ng over-the-top performance. Ultra magnification, a stylus, a really good-looking display, and again, an ultra overall performance. Sa totoo lang, not everyone or you might not need all those excess specifications for your everyday smartphone usage. And hindi ko naman mabiblame kayo for not wanting all of those. In my experience, it's a yes. Pwedeng pwede yung bilhin ng S23 Ultra, especially if you have the cash. But not for those people who already has the S22 Ultra. I don't see a significant change doon sa 108 megapixels to 200 megapixels if hindi rin naman kayo into taking photos. Especially that Samsung is offering 4 to 5 operating system updates through the years. Meaning there's really no need for you to upgrade every year kung wala namang problema sa inyong smartphone. So yes, overall, it is indeed worthy of the Ultra name. And alam naman natin si Samsung guys, they don't just put Ultra or Plus on your smartphones just for the sake of it. Again, it's a bold statement but still worth putting. So yup, that's basically it. I know the video is too long, kaya tayo may chapters guys. Para in case na may gusto kayong skip na parts, pwedeng pwede nyo yung gawin. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you in our next video. Bye guys!